Okay, so now that we're done with the installation, I've logged into the the uh, server core system here that we just uh, installed, and I'm going to go ahead and get the basics, uh, the basic things configured here, like the the name of the system, the IP address, um, uh, DNS, and and then we'll uh, also join this this system to the domain. So the, the first thing we'll have to do is go ahead and, and change over into PowerShell. And once we're in PowerShell, uh, I'm going to rename this system first. Uh, so we're going to type uh, rename computer and we can tab to go ahead and uh, get the, the system to, um, it, if you tab it'll, it'll actually recognize what you're typing and autofill. Uh, uh, what you're typing in and so after the rename computer we'll go ahead and type in the name of the uh, computer that we want to give it uh, which is lab test 01 we'll hit enter and here we see that the change won't take effect until we restart the machine and it also shows us here what the the old machine name was um, but we're not going to restart now uh, because we want to co configure a few more things and the next one is going to be the, the network uh, address so to do that we'll go ahead and type in uh, new net IP new net new dash net IP address and this is going to take a few uh, switches where we're going to have to do a dash IP address and then type in the address that we want to assign the system uh, 2.20 and then the interface alias um, and the interface alias is the the alias that the the NIC is given um, when it's created. By default, this is going to be uh, Ethernet, um, but I can show you where you can find this if you may have changed it before giving it the IP address name. And then we want to define the uh, default gateway. And the actual address family, which is the uh, which um, flavor of, of IP version that we want, and we want to use the uh, IPv4. Um, let me go back here. See, I forgot the dash dash IP family. Uh, it's going to be IPv4. And then we want to set the uh, the subnet, and we can do that here with the prefix length, and we'll give it 24. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit enter on that. It will spit out a little bit of information here. Uh, the IP address name now is I mean the IP address has actually uh, been changed to uh, 192.68.220 as I want it. And if we did a IP config on here, we can see that the parameters were changed to what I wanted. And here is where we can get that, uh, that Ethernet adapter alias, which is shown here as uh, Ethernet. So if that's different from uh, what the default is, is here when you do that PowerShell. Uh, script here or command uh, commandlet here uh, the option for the interface alias just make sure you change that appropriately um, now that the IP address is done let's go ahead and set the uh, DNS um, and we do that by actually set uh, DNS client address Fill this. And this um, actually DNS client server address. 
and um, this takes also a few parameters and we need to um, give it the interface alias so and I'm not typing that right interface alias I should type it right there and this is going to be Ethernet again Ethernet. and then we want to give it the actual uh, DNS server um, address server addresses and I'm going to set just one address right now to is the address. Go ahead and hit enter and if we do a IP config slash all uh, actually we have to break out of there to do the IP config dash all uh, we can see that the DNS servers here we the one that we want it is now in the list there um, and right now I think we, we've configured everything we really need to configure <clears throat> except for adding it on to the domain um, that I want to do from PowerShell so I'm gonna go ahead and restart the uh, computer and we switch back into PowerShell so we can do that and by doing a restart computer this will restart the computer so now that the system has rebooted, I'm going to go ahead and log into it again. Now the only thing left doing here, I'm going to go ahead and switch into PowerShell, is to add this system um, to the domain. So we've already configured the IP address, so it's on the network now. We've configured DNS, so it should be able to contact the, uh, the domain controller when we go to add it. Uh, to do it, we just need to put in add computer and we'll let that auto fill. Then we want domain name and we just give it the domain name here, which is going to be my VLAB. And once you hit enter here, it'll prompt you for the domain credentials. So just give it an account that will allow you to add the system to the domain. Okay, so that is went ahead and added the system to the domain. Um, as you can see there, it prompts that you will need to do a restart on the system. So we'll go ahead and do a restart on this system for this piece, and we'll uh, that'll be the end of this video.